What's going on YouTube? Keith Moore Jr. here. And for today's video, I'm going to be talking about the benefits of flexible dieting for fat loss. So I am currently 155 pounds. I just finished my fat loss phase and it went great. And I was still able to enjoy my life, hang out with friends and family, go to restaurants and do all of that good stuff and still accomplish my goal of getting shredded. Now, with a flexible diet, what you have to realize is if you're in a fat loss phase, you still need to be in a caloric deficit. That's the thing that a lot of people get confused. Time and time again, you will hear people say, well, I don't eat that much, or I only ate this today. And they're not taking into account everything they're eating. They're not taking into account the sodas that they're having or the juices that they're having. It's a lot of other places they're getting calories from things like snacks and other food sources that are not from their primary meals that they are not even taking into account. And a lot of times people don't realize just how many calories are in the junk food that they eat. They think just because they had these cookies or this bag of chips, like that wasn't much, but that food is not satiating. So it's not going to fill you up. So it's going to leave you wanting more. So in your mind, you're thinking, well, I didn't really eat anything because I'm still hungry. Whereas if you ate something that maybe had some higher fiber, not necessarily junk food, maybe a banana with some peanut butter or something like that, it probably would make you more full, I'm willing to bet, than that bag of chips that you had. So for me, a flexible approach works best unless I'm competing for a show where I really have to be strict just because you never know when if you have family in town or friends in town, I live in Florida, so people come out here because it's a vacation spot. So I don't want to be like, well, I'm just going to eat my chicken breast, rice, and broccoli while you all are in town, you all go ahead and eat. Now, I still like to keep things under control when I go out to eat. It may be some salmon, uh, salad, something like that. So it's not anything too crazy or anything but I still do like to enjoy myself. So if we're gonna go out, have drinks, I'm not really a big drinker, but when we have friends or family in town, I'll have a drink or two with them when we go out. If I really like them, I might have more than two drinks. So if you've seen me have more than two drinks, then I'll really rock with you. But as you all can see, like the picture on the thumbnail, and I'll throw it on the screen now, I had a crown apple and lemonade in my hand. So I was enjoying myself. My physique is on point and I'm not like, well, I can't mess up my physique. I can't have any drink. I can't do any of that while my, my mother-in-law and father-in-law were actually in town during this picture. We were at the pool. So I'm like, well, I'm not going to just eat healthy. That sounded very bad, but I'm not just going to be like, well, I'm not going to go out to eat with you all or I'm going to bring my Tupperware of food as you all go out to eat and I'm not going to have a drink or anything because I know that I can still accomplish my goal of fat loss and getting shredded with the flexible diet approach. Now, it's important to keep in mind that this can be an every weekend or an everyday thing. You still, for 95% of the time for me, I'm still... Now, I wouldn't say strict with my diet because it's still flexible, but I'm still doing, when people leave town, I go back to doing the one meal a day, a couple days a week, and then the other days I do two meals a day. So I still stick to that. So even when people are in town, I may do two meals a day instead of one meal a day, but I'm still making sure that I'm in a caloric deficit. So you can keep it flexible don't think that uh i can't go out to eat with anyone because this restaurant does not have this food if a restaurant does not have salmon if it doesn't have salad or shrimp that's perfectly fine it's common out here because i live in florida so it's pretty much seafood everywhere but if it doesn't have that then i will have a steak or something like that but I have already been putting in the work weeks prior to people coming to town so that I can have that flexible approach to not really worry about what I'm eating, 
not worried about having some drinks because I know that when they leave, it's time to get back on my game while still having a flexible approach because, you know, it may be a day where I'm like, tell my wife, well, let's go have this. And some days we'll think that we're eating bad, but then we hang around people that really eat bad and we're like, oh, we eat great because you just see how much food that people consume just all throughout the day, you know, five meals a day of just straight garbage. So that's a different flexible approach. So the approach I like to use is intermittent fasting. That's already going to restrict the amount of calories that I am eating in a day by having the eating window. And then by me doing either one meal or two meals a day, that's going to restrict it even more and it's going to make me really focus on what I'm putting in my body to make sure I'm getting the macronutrients and micronutrients that I need. So I just wanted to put this video out to let you all know that you all don't have to go on a zero carb diet, uh, ketogenic which would be very low carbs. You, don't, you all don't have to go on a very low fat diet. Like you all do not have to do extreme diets in order to lose weight. And everybody I know that has done an extreme diet, everybody that I know personally that has done one, they have gained the weight right back plus some because they are looking for temporary fixes. They're not looking for a lifestyle change. So if you're looking for a lifestyle change, yes, you can have a flexible approach, but keep in mind, you have to know what you have coming up as far as like if you're going to be going out to eat for a weekend to multiple restaurants then for weeks leading up to that pay attention to how many calories you're consuming and things like that so you can be prepared for what you have coming up so don't make it more difficult than it has to be we're not in this for short-term fixes or short-term weight loss we're in this for lifestyle changes so that we can be shredded for life. Not shredded for life, because my fat loss phase is about to end. I'm going to a little uh, lean bulking phase here soon that I'll do a separate video on, but so that we can be functional for life and not be in our late 20s or mid 30s talking about we're old. So I also just dropped my website. The link to that is going to be in the bio well in the description sorry and also i have an update for you all on my bicep so hit that like button subscribe to the channel and i'll be dropping that video this weekend catch y'all next video peace